Okay, so this is the launch pad from uh, Texas Instruments. Uh, costs $4.30 uh, directly from their website. Um, it comes in a little plastic uh, anti-static bag to protect uh, the, the board from uh, static electricity. Um, you can see here, here's the board. Um, has the big thing in the middle is the microcontroller chip, the MSP430 chip and uh, top left hand corner is a USB connector. Uh, this allows the part to be programmed. You take a cable which is plugged in at this end and the other end is uh, plugged into your PC and that way you would program your launch pad. It also powers up the launch pad so you don't need an external power supply to, to, to power up the, the launch pad. The program will run under the power from the USB connector from the PC. Okay, So at the bottom of the board you see there are a couple of uh, press button switches. So this switch here, it's labelled P13, is actually an input. It's connected to one of the input pins of the, uh, of the MSP430 and uh, you can read that switch with your program. Um, the other switch has got reset written on it um, by it and uh, that does what it says. It resets the program of the that's running on the MSP430 chip and allows you to restart it. Um, the very bottom, very small uh, uh, LEDs, there's two of them. LED1 which is red and LED2 which is green and uh, these are illuminated, uh, lit up by the the signals that are from the uh, MSP430 that are controlled from your MUPI program. And um, there's a couple of links above them, so if you don't want to control the LEDs, um, you can actually remove the little links here and that disconnects them and they won't. The signals can still be used, but they won't be illuminating the LEDs. Okay. Um, the, the two rows of, of pins either side of the, uh, the, the, the board and these pins are joined to the MSP430 chip directly. There's straight through connections. So that means you can connect any of the, the pins of the MSP430 to external uh, circuits that you might want to, uh, to control. And uh, they are labelled. Uh, the top one here is labelled VCC. The next one down is, uh, is labelled P1.0. P1.1 and similarly on the right hand side we have uh, a row of pins also labelled. And then at bottom right uh, we've got three more pins called which are labelled ground, ground and VCC and you'd connect your uh, external power supply when you're not controlling, when you're not powering it up from PC using the USB connector you would use a connection to your battery or external power supply by connecting to these pins here. Um, so when you want to uh, connect the launch pad to an external circuit, you would normally use a, uh, a jumper wire. And here's a jumper wire, a handy one. This one's got a pin at one end and a receptacle, a hole at the other end. So you take one end, the hole with the, the, the end with the receptacle, plug it onto one of the pins that you want to connect to. P10 in this case, and take the other end and you would plug it into a breadboard. Um, typically, <laughs> you can plug it into whatever you like, but uh, breadboards are the most convenient thing to, to, to use to build up circuits for prototypes for circuits. So this breadboard is a typical one. Um, it's got ro rows of holes along the top which are underneath are joined together and so if you plug a, a, a wire into this hole here it would be joined into to the hole that's underneath uh, over here because it's on the same row. The holes in the middle are joined vertically so with your launch pad uh, jumper wire you would just plug it directly into the breadboard like that and you've made a connection. Now I'm not going to build a circuit now, but uh, this is just to illustrate what how you would connect it up to a breadboard. MSP430 chip itself has a label on the top of it, and you have to be very uh, you have to look at that label 
because you need to know that the the name of the chip when you program your Muppy program and um, uh, if you look very carefully you should be able to see there's two labels there the bottom one says M430 G2553 and that's the name that you need to, 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 to use when you come to write your Muppy program so that the Muppy editor can, knows which chip to, to program. Okay. Um, the pins are, are, are numbered. This pin here is pin 1. Uh, it goes all the way through to pin 10 at this side, pin 11 to pin 20 at that side. Um, and notice that the uh, chip itself has got a notch at the top. This, this indicates which end uh, pin 1 is. The good thing about uh, Launchpad is that it's uh, the chip the microcontroller can be removed, it's in a socket. So with a screwdriver you can actually remove the, uh, the chip. I take a screwdriver and, and take the blade and just twist it at one end. Be very careful because the pins are easy to break, uh, they bend, and so take it at each end and just twist it and pull the chip out. And here it is, there's the chip and be careful when handling it not to bend those pins and uh, you can now take this this chip the MSP430 and you can plug that directly into your into your breadboard like so there you go. let's take it out and put it back in there we go so when you plug it back in make sure you get it round the right way the notch here is next to pin 1 on the launchpad board and just press it in and then you, you can reprogram it. So that's the launchpad.